missed an episode of your favorite podcast, choose from over a decade of content in our archives. Not just the latest episode. All free at GCNlive.com. Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body, is always a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. No drugs required, no doctors required, no medical model required. It does it on its own on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that renewing and regenerating and healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls in our second segment. We have a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Janice Heafy Durham, who's a former uh, editor or publisher of the uh, Sacramento Bee. Janice Durham had a very fascinating experience. She lost her husband to cancer, first anniversary of his death weird things began to happen, things that she couldn't explain, and she's going to be talking about consciousness surviving after death and her experience. Janice is no wild-eyed, crazy, hippy-dippy, airy-fairy, psychic-type woman. She's a publisher, of a former publisher of the Sacramento Bee. She's a journalist, and she's very, very sane and lucid, and she had some really crazy experiences. Um, her book is called The Hand on the Mirror, A True Story of Life Beyond Death, and we're going to talk to Janice at the bottom of the hour. That should be quite fascinating. We'll take your calls here in our second segment, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. Of course, if you have questions about the longevity products, we can help you as well. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to my website, brightsideben.com, or my blog, pharmacistben.com, or my new blog, criticalhealthnews.com, that I'm doing with George Norrie. You can order products directly off the website, and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to be part of the team and help spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be and start yourself a longevity business at the same time. Get your products at the wholesale price and enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. That's 866-735-2470, or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and click on the join the team link right off the website. Okay, we'll talk to Janice Durham at the bottom of the hour, Janice Heafy Durham at the bottom of the hour about her book, The Hand on the Mirror. Very fascinating book, especially if you like near-death experience kinds of things like I do. I've had a, personally had a near-death experience many years ago and uh, I'm telling you, when you have one of those near-death experiences, nobody can tell you any different. Uh, nobody can tell you that it's all hallucination or it's not real, and, and Janice will be talking about her personal experiences as well. Okay, we're talking skin health and body health. The skin, as we've been saying, is a microcosm of the body, like the rest of the body, the organ uh, that we call the skin, like all the parts of the body, the organ that we call the skin is just another organ, like the heart or the liver or the lungs or the spleen, and this is a very important distinction that needs to be made. We look at the skin, we think it's somehow uh, just a covering on the outside of the body. 
We somehow think it's an isolated component, a sheet that covers the inside of the body. And even though it appears that way, and even though we're encouraged to think that way, and to address skin issues that way by commercials and by marketing, by skincare professionals, it's not true. And this misunderstanding is why dermatologists are relegated to just creams and lotions and killing bacteria. That's pretty much all, all a dermatologist can do for a skin health issue is rub a, uh, dispense a cream that you rub on top or, or an antibiotic that kills bacteria. You ever wonder why that's all that you get from a dermatologist? A steroid cream, a steroid pill, or an antibiotic. And it's been that way for decades. These days, there's a new kind of drug. They call them biologics, but it's basically the same idea. Biologics, Humira, Remicade, and such. These are drugs that kill parts of the body, kill uh, cells in the body, specifically immune system cells, cells of the defensive response. And pretty much all dermatologic strategies involve suppressing the defensive response because skin issues are basically a defensive response. Almost all skin health issues are the manifestation of a defensive response. Pretty much all health issues are the manifestation of a defensive response. Intelligence mandates that if you have a defensive response and it's causing you a problem, you want to figure out what the offending agent is. That's intelligence, but that's not the medical model. The medical model is we're going to just suppress the defensive response. These brain-dead medical strategies, and especially brain-dead dermatological strategies, treat symptoms only. They do not treat causes. And they're not even that effective anyway because symptoms are not meant to be suppressed. You have to go to some serious poison to suppress a symptom. Symptoms are a sign that the body, a signal that the body is trying to communicate to us that something's wrong and they don't want to be suppressed. You can suppress them, but you got to really do some heavy duty poisoning to do that. That's how steroids work. Ultimately, this idea of suppressing symptoms is reflective of the misguided notion that organs like the skin are separated from each other and that, when it comes to the skin anyway, that it's a mere covering for the rest of the body. Well, we've been saying now for weeks, the skin is not a mere covering. It is an organ and it is a, uh, just as, a fully fledged organ just as important and just as defined and just as distinct as any other organ in the body. Organs, as we said last program, comprise two kinds of tissues working together. That's the definition of an organ, two tissues working together. And the skin is an organ by this definition. It's the body's largest organ. It's a fully fledged organ, just like any other organs of the body. It's about 70 or 80 internal organs, including the heart, the brain, the lungs, etc. And the skin is one of them. And once we understand that the skin is an organ that just happens to be on the outside of the body, we're going to become much more respectful of how we treat this organ, this highly evolved organ, this super intelligent organ. You know the skin is part of your brain? The skin is an appendage of the brain. The skin, from a neurologic or from a uh, embryologic perspective, is developed in the embryo, in the fetus, in the womb, from the same place as the brain. It's a type of brain. It's an extension of the brain. It's the way the brain perceives the environment, uh, the, uh, the touch aspect of the environment. It's an extension of the brain. The brain's in the head. It can't really tell from a touch perspective what's happening in the air and the atmosphere. So it uses the skin to detect what's happening in the environment from a touch perspective. And once we understand this, we're going to be less likely to smear stuff on the skin. When I say smear stuff on the skin, I'm talking about awful, awful stuff. Your typical skincare product is filled with all kinds of stuff you don't want to put anywhere near your skin. I've been in the skincare business formulating for a long time. I'm telling you, the typical skincare product is a witch's brew concoction of wax and oil and fake oil and preservative and perfume and fragrances and really horrible stuff. And by the way, when it comes to fragrances and perfumes and preservatives, you're talking about some serious toxic chemicals. You ever walk into those, uh, those mall stores where they have the shampoos and the, uh, the fancy lotions and the, uh, uh, the shower gels and bath gels and you walk into the room and walk into the store and it smells really perfumey, real heavy, fruity kind of perfume smells? Well, that heavy, fruity perfume smell that you're smelling is seriously cancer-causing toxicity. And I know that they're only in the products that you're rubbing on your body in very small concentrations, 0.1%, 0.5% along those lines. But still, do you really want to rub that stuff on your skin that's doing nothing for your, doing nothing for you? There's no health benefit to this stuff. And even if there's no perfume, 
or fragrance. They're still preservative. And there's still emulsifiers. And there's still fake oils. And there's still solvents. And there's still things that you don't want to put on your skin. If you have a, a medical ingredient, a medical type product, you maybe get a little active material in there. But for the most part, the vast majority of stuff you rub on the skin in terms of skincare products isn't doing anything for your skin. Anything good for your skin. Alright, got lots more to talk about here about skin health, and we'll take your calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states, it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. As a parent, one of my greatest concerns is for the safety and well-being of my family. But no matter how concerned I am, it doesn't take the place of taking action and preparing for the unknown. I plan by having a GoFood savings account where I allocate a little money each month to have health store quality food delivered to my door at budget store prices. Although GoFoods are storable for 25 years, they are family mealtime favorites even today. My family asking to eat the food that we are storing lets me know that when we only have the food we stored to live on, that we won't have the added stress of eating unfamiliar or undesirable food. Buying GoFoods is investing in the future of my family. Convenient packages allow me to buy according to my budget, and I get free shipping on my monthly orders. To set up your GoFood savings account, call 800-648-9753 or on the web at www.storefoodnow.com. That's 800-648-9753. It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four-week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800-274-3070 to claim yours. Limit two per caller while supplies last. This offer isn't available online, so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today. 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only $99, and it'll be shipped to you completely. Completely free. Call 800 274 3070 right now. That's 800 274 3070 to claim yours while supplies last. Don't wait. Call today. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. Back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific. 
10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. Got uh, going on four years of archives, excuse me, four years of archives up. It'll be our fourth year anniversary, I believe, here coming up in a couple of weeks on the Bright Side. Got four years of programs, uh, four years of archive programs at brightsideben.com. Lots of great health information. If you're interested in checking out my blogs, got good information there as well. Pharmacistben.com or my new blog, criticalhealthnews.com. Our number today, 844-236-6010. We're going to talk to Janice Heafy Durham about her very fascinating book about near-death experience, uh, her personal near-death experience with uh, well, I'll let her tell the story, but her husband passed away of cancer, and she had a very fascinating experience and did a bunch of research. Her book is The Hand on the Mirror, very easy to read, and a uh, very entertaining book. Janice was a former publisher of the Sacramento Bee. She's a journalist, and uh, she knows she's a fact, fact checker like all journalists, and she's got some interesting things to say about near-death experiences. We'll talk to her in the bottom of the hour, and we'll take your calls this segment. 844-236-6010 is our number tomorrow. We'll continue our discussion on skin and skin health. By the way, my new uh, skin products, skin health products is what I'm calling them because they're about the health of the skin. They don't have the filler and the crapple. It's in most other skincare products. Uh, you can find out all about it by uh, checking out truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, or go to my Facebook page, uh, The Truth with Ben. That's my Facebook page where I'm posting uh, all various uh, skin health posts, etc. Some of you guys have already been on there. That's the Truth With Ben Facebook page. Okay, time to hit our phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. And in Canada, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hello. Hello, hello. Greetings. Oh, so, I, I'm talking to you. Okay, thank you yes. for taking my call. Sure. Um, I've been diagnosed with osteoarthritis and okay. DDD, and I need to know what to do for that. Okay. And since you're a pharmacist, I also need to know how to get off Premarin and Prometrium. You, t you stop taking it. That's how you get off of it. I'm being a little facetious, but that's basically all you do. You just stop taking it. You don't need the stuff. By the way, estrogen and, or a pro Premarin is one type of estrogen. It's not real, and it's going to make your DDD a lot worse, by the way, and your doctor should know that. Did the same doctor give you the Premarin that is taking care of your arthritis and your degenerative disc, disc disease? Yes. Um, the reason well, he gave it to me is to protect my heart. Well, your doctor, yeah. the, the same, let me, let me just repeat that because I'm not understanding. The same doctor who gave you the primer is also treating your arthritis? Correct. Okay, well, then he needs to go back to biochemistry because estrogen, which is what Premarin is, uh, is going to exacerbate the inflammatory response that's associated with arthritis. So... I don't know why a doctor would, uh, I don't understand the logic there, but uh, in any case, uh, uh, osteoarthritis is a degenerative health issue, okay? Your body's breaking down. It doesn't matter that it's in the joints, <clears throat> excuse me. What it matters is, is that the body is breaking down. You follow me? Yes. Okay. So what we want, want to do is just simply build the body back up. And there's a couple strategies for doing it. First of all, if there's anything inflammatory that's getting into your system, that's going to need to be controlled. Okay, you're going to need to factor that in. So that means uh, inflammatory foods primarily. Okay, so if you have any digestive health issues, and you probably do, if you're uh, dealing with arthritis, you need to correct those because as long as inflammatory factors are getting into the digestive tract or getting into the blood through the digestive tract, it's going to be very difficult to treat the arthritis. So we need to work on foods. If you have uh, any uh, digestive health issues, bowel movement problems, gas, bloating, constipation, etc., you need to link those up to foods by doing a food diary and keeping track of what you're eating and what you're digestive symptoms are, and then eliminate those foods. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So you do food diary, eliminate problem foods. And the second thing is you're going to be strengthening the gut, the digestive lining. Now, interestingly, the digestive tract, which is a tube in the middle of your body that the food goes in, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, is made up partially of the same kind of stuff that make, makes up your joints. It's called connective tissue. So when you have a breakdown in the joints, very often you've got a breakdown in the digestive lining and vice versa. When you have a breakdown in the, di not lining, but the digestive tissue, when you have a breakdown in the digestive tissue, you also have breakdowns in the joints. They go hand in hand, which is good news because it means things that you do for your arthritis can also help you with your digestive system. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, good. So a couple things for you. Number one, you want to be using glucosamine. And uh, the glucogel caps from longevity are a good source of glucosamine. And you always want to take vitamin C with your glucosamine. So get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the glucosamine, and that'll help both the digestive system and the joints. Okay? That's the first thing. 
Second thing you want to do is make sure you're getting your essential fatty acids, your EFAs. Again, that will help both the joints and the digestive system. And I like the ultimate EFAs from the from longevity. In fact, the whole Healthy Start Pack is a great place. Just get on the Healthy Start Pack. Glucogel caps, Healthy Start Pack. You start using digestive enzymes. There's something very interesting about digestive enzymes. They will, they'll help you, obviously, with digestion, but they'll also help reduce inflammation, which can help you with your arthritis. So start using the ultimate enzymes after meals and use the ultimate enzymes in the middle of the day on an empty stomach. You got it? So you do them both ways, and that'll have anti-inflammatory properties. By the way, I'm, I'm looking here on uh, the side effects for Premarin. It turns out that, uh, you might want to tell this to your doctor, uh, reading here from... Uh, uh, from factmd.com, between January 2004 and October 2012, 918 individuals taking Premarin reported osteoarthritis to the FDA. It's considered an adverse event associated with Premarin. You might want to tell that to your doctor, okay? Premarin and arthritis. Premarin is associated with arthritis. I don't know why I'd give you Premarin if you're, had, if you're dealing with osteoarthritis. So anyway, you're going to work on the digestive system by doing a food diary. You're going to uh, start using the Healthy Start Pack, including the ultimate EFAs. You want three, three times a day. Three capsules, three times a day. Number three, get on the glucogel caps. Make sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine with the glucogel caps because the vitamin C in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine will help activate or help improve the effects of the glucogel caps. Use bone soup, chicken soup with the bones in it. I don't know if you've ever heard me talk about that. That's where you take a whole chicken and turn it into soup, drop it into the pot, boil the water, and make chicken soup, basically. If you put a little apple cider vinegar in the water with the chicken, the cartilage from the, the bones in the chicken will dissolve into the water, and that can have a wonderfully beneficial effect for both the digestive system and the joints. A couple other things that you might want to consider doing. Uh, vitamin E is very anti-inflammatory. It can help you with your... Uh, with the joint with your joint problems, I would be using 400 international units a day of vitamin E. Make sure you're getting enough protein, especially easy to digest and easy to absorb protein in a smoothie fashion. If you can do whey protein, that's the best one. Egg protein can also be very helpful for helping build connective tissue too. If you have problems with whey and egg, and some people do have problems with whey and egg, go to hemp seed protein, and I'll get you. A good source of hemp seed is not as good as the animal protein, but it's uh, it'll get you some protein and some amino acids if you have problems with the whey and with the egg. Last but not least, magnesium can be very, very helpful. You'll get that in the Beyond Osteo FX in the Healthy Start Pack. And if you want to do one more thing, use your Z radical or your Fucoid Z. I like the Fucoid Z a little bit better, and that can be soothing and healing for the digestive tract, and it can also have anti-inflammatory and joint health benefits too. Lots of great strategies for you. Most importantly, you want to consider the osteoarthritis to be a sign that your body's starting to break down and you want to restore it back to its building or anabolic building state that it's uh, that it's uh, that it usually has when you're when you're healthy and when you're strong and when you're young as well osteoarthritis osteoarthritis is a disease of old age as you a disease of older age not old age older age thank you for your call appreciate it I uh, hope we helped you out. I wish I had more time, but we're just out of it, and we've got to take a break, and we're going to come back with a guest at the bottom of the hour. Ja Janice Heafy Durham is going to tell us about her new book, The Hand on the Mirror. If you're on hold, I apologize. Call back tomorrow. Tell our call screener we left you on hold. We'll get you first up. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Hi, John Hubner from Midas Resources. Are you tired of watching your hard-earned assets dwindle away? As government spending is out of hand and the Federal Reserve is creating in excess of $20 billion a week, are you tired of stockbrokers gambling away your hard-earned money? Is this market a setup for a crash greater than 1987? Too many of today's policies resemble those that led to the collapse of 1929. This is John Hubner, and that was me in 2007. And we all know what happened when the subprime credit bubble burst. By March 2009, the dollar lost 50% of its value. The entire U.S. banking system was on the verge of collapsing. Like all financial problems of the past, is history about to repeat itself? Call me, John Hubner, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 129, before it's too late to protect yourself. Will the oncoming catastrophe take all private IRAs, 401ks with it? There is a way to protect your hard-earned assets. Call me, John Hubner, at 1-800-686. 2237 extension 129. 
By now you know that wireless technology like cell phones do in fact pose dangers to the health and privacy of everyone. Blocket Pocket's wide range of products are unmatched in providing the protection you deserve. No scare tactics, just common sense. BlockitPocket.com offers quality American-made options to alleviate and eliminate these invisible dangers. Learn more at BlockitPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockitPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Attention, do you owe money to the IRS or have years of unfiled returns? Are you being audited or receiving threatening letters? If the answer is yes, you need help. The IRS can seize your property and assets, impose fines and penalties, garnish your wages, and even go after your bank account. Don't take on the IRS by yourself. Don't let the IRS destroy your life. Take action now. Call our team of experts for a free and confidential initial evaluation. We've helped thousands resolve their tax problems. Let us help you. 800-261-7073. 800-261-7073. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs knows the importance of proper digestion. Make sure you take a look at the Ultimate Enzyme product. They're made with bile salts and fat digestion enzymes and protein digestive enzymes. And not only do the Ultimate Enzymes give you obvious benefits for digestion, but they can also help keep your blood flowing through your circulatory system. As most of you probably know by now, thick, sludgy, clotting blood is a serious risk factor for heart disease and stroke. Clearly, inappropriate and excessive blood clotting is a major health issue, and thick, sludgy blood is not just about heart health either. Sludgy blood can compromise oxygenation and nutrient delivery to all your cells and tissues and organs and ultimately lead to almost any health issue you can name. Concerned about proper digestion and heart health? Order Ultimate Enzymes by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or on the web at brightsidebed.com. That's brightsidebed.com. Order today. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. You can prevent being the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. faketv.com so we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. We have a very special guest coming up. Janice Heafy Durham is a former publisher of the Sacramento Bee. She had a really neat experience, a near-death experience involving her husband who died of cancer at the age of 56 and sent her on a quest that she, uh, that she describes and goes through in her book, The Hand on the Mirror, True Story of Life Beyond, Life Beyond Death. Really cool stuff. Uh, well, I'll let Janice tell her story. Greetings, Janice. Good morning. Janice, do we have Janice? I'm here. Oh, hi there. Hi there, Janice. So, uh, yeah, your book, The Hand on the Mirror, True Story of Life Beyond Death. Uh, you're the daughter of a Presbyterian minister, and you're a journalist and former publisher of the Sacramento Bee. Certainly no wild-eyed, crazy, drug-addled hippie, but you have quite an interesting story to tell. 
about near-death experiences. I've had personally had a near-death experience. And one of the neatest things about your book, Janice, is that you interviewed all of these high-powered scientists who affirmed everything that you had experienced personally. I wonder if you could tell a little bit about your story. But before you do that, tell us about who you are, uh, your professional career, so you can get some credibility to some of the stuff that we're going to talk about here afterwards. Oh, thank you, Ben. Thank you for that opportunity. Yes, I spent 30 years in the newspaper industry. I was with the Los Angeles Times for a little over 20 years, and I was senior vice president of advertising there and an officer of the company. And then I was recruited by the McClatchy Company, which is a major newspaper chain here in the United States, and they recruited me to be the first publisher of the Sacramento Bee newspaper. The Sacramento Bee in Sacramento, California, uh, before that, in its 150-year history, had a president on the business side, and then they had an editor on the news side reporting into corporate. But when they recruited me, they asked me to take over as um, in charge of all of the newspaper, including the news operations as well as the business. So I did that for 10 years. It was a terrific 10 years. The McClatchy Company is a wonderful company. And so I was really proud to be there. We actually won two Pulitzers while... I was at the helm, and in the history of the um, Sacramento Bee, 150-year history, there had been a total of five. So I was quite happy about that. And, and you were, I... Go ahead. You, you were raised religiously, too. You were raised like a standard religion. Your dad was a, was a minister, a Presbyterian minister, and you were, you, were, you were just operating like a standard American person. You didn't have any wild, crazy ideas before your experience, Correct. That is correct. I was, I would say, a classic Middle Westerner. Okay, <laughs> My father good was deal. Presbyterian, and we lived a, a very traditional life. And I think that's important because it really lends credibility to your subsequent experiences. And I wonder if you could tell our listeners a little bit about what happened with your husband, and then how you got this. I, how you began to understand that maybe your husband was communicating to you post death. Yes. My husband, Max Bessler, was a political consultant there in the state capital, Sacramento, in California. And we had been married in 2000, and then, sadly, he passed away to esophageal cancer in May of 2004. And he was diagnosed six months later. He was gone. It was very sad. It was stage four. He died in the living room of our home, really sort of living family room area of our home in Sacramento. And one week later, exactly to the day, I had a large clock that was above the fireplace, on a, just above the mantel, Ethan Allen clock, very heavy. That clock stopped at exactly 1244, which was the precise time of Max's death one week earlier. Wow. After that, um, a sequence of events began to occur, So, what I would call a series of events that were uh, very unfamiliar to me. I had literally no experience with any of it. You know, things like doors opening and shutting and um, knocks in the wall, uh, lights flickering, and these things went on for about a year. I chose, for the most part, to compartmentalize those events. I was publisher of the newspaper, therefore, in a very, um, you know, as you can imagine, a role that, that required of me to be very um, fact-based, and I was. So it wasn't something I was going to bring to light with my associates or at work. And then on the first anniversary of Max's death to the day, it was May 8th of 2005. It was Mother's Day. We're coming up on Mother's Day. Ten here years. Soon. It's almost your 10-year yeah, anniversary ten here. It, exactly, exactly. Um, so Mother's Day 2005, my son and I, he was uh, 15 at the time. We're out in the backyard in our home, and he was of our home. He was doing his homework. I was doing my newspaper work. And I went into the bathroom, which is adjacent to the kitchen, just to wash my hands and then make us a sandwich. And that was the bathroom where Max had resided in his bedroom suite area in the last months of his life because he was quite uncomfortable with the cancer. And so we slept apart, naturally. And I looked up at the mirror as I was washing my hands. I saw a very large handprint. It was the right handprint. And Looking at it, I was stunned because my mind said this can't be possible, but my eyes said it is possible. It was kind of a powdery substance, and it was really transparent. I could see the bone structure. I could see all of the palm, you know, the lines that you have in your palm, which are so unique to every individual, were all defined there. And I think I stood for at least 60 seconds just staring at it. 
and then I had now, the wherewithal to call my son. Now, and now, he came to see it. You no, know, was it stuff on top of the mirror, or was it just a just like a print on the mirror? It was what you said it was substances, stuff you could wipe off, or was it? Yeah, it, it was, was actually like material. Powder. Wow. Yes, it was like a powder. If I had to say, you know, a talcum powder or a pizza dough or chocolate chip cookie dough. When my son first came in, I, I thought for a minute you maybe played a trick on me when I wasn't looking. Although I knew we'd been sitting together that t- whole time, and I'd been in that same bathroom combing my hair an hour earlier and it was not there Mm. so you know the facts were that it came from nowhere and i called tanner in i said tanner you didn't do this did you put his hand up of course his hand was small he's a boy 15 and this was a very large masculine hand larger than a human hand so at least i documented it in terms of a um, a photograph you did get a picture you got a picture and that's in the book all the photographs are in the book we had the um, powdery prints come back in 2006, and then again in 2007. Yeah, I see so, the pictures. Those are actually literal pictures. Those are the exact pictures that you took. I mean, I, I see the pictures in the book. I didn't know, realize those were the actual pictures of the of the print. Yes. Because it is quite amazing and quite dramatic. Yes. Wow. And so uh, what was your first thought? Did you, did you con- make the connection to your husband? I did. I mean, I don't know, you know, I can't prove that. I'll never be able to prove it. But I just think the fact that it came on his exact anniversary, it, well, it, at the it time, though, a different time. When you saw but, it. At, not, not at first. I mean, we knew it was his anniversary, so part of my mind said yes. But I, I that it was him. But the, I was very much in denial. I think it's interesting in life how when things happen that are out of a realm of the known, mm. how you work really hard to rationalize. Mm, that's you, true. you want to rationalize. It, it really wasn't until a friend of mine sat me down one day and said, you've spent your entire career in newspapers. Why don't you do what newspapers do? Why don't you investigate and research mm-hmm. the afterlife? So I, basically I asked myself this question. I said, does our consciousness survive death? Is there more? And that was when I began to pursue this line of questioning and decided to go out and speak with scientists and professors who study their consciousness. Also some spiritual practitioners as well. Now, did you find... Well, we got to take a break here. I want to ask you you when you come back, did you find scientists who poo-pooed what you said, who researchers who didn't believe what you said, who who thought that there or who thought that there might be some kind of rational explanation? In addition to the, the scientists, many scientists who actually affirmed uh, affirmed your your ideas and affirmed your belief about consciousness post death. We'll come back after this break. I'm pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Janice Heavey Durham about her book, The Hand on the Mirror. We're going to take a break and come back right after this. Don't go away. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, Now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercials, 
commercial. Just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us and advertise at GCNlive.com. And an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. Can heart and body extract help with other ailments besides heart conditions, high blood pressure, clogged arteries, or unbalanced cholesterol? It did for Karen. I've been using heart and body extract for a approximately two weeks. I've had an earwax buildup problem for many years, with over-the-counter stuff not working at all. I had very poor hearing due to this earwax buildup. Well, after two weeks of taking heart and body extract, my earwax buildup almost completely cleared up. Could this be the effect of better body circulation? Heart and body extract is an effective 100% organic nutritional supplement specially formulated to allow your body to heal itself. My hearing is almost completely completely back to normal. I'm amazed. Order by calling 866-295-5305 or online at hbextract.com. That's 866-295-5305 or hbextract.com. Heart and Body Extract for a long and healthy life. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side talking to Janice Heafy Durham about her book, The Hand on the Mirror, A True Story of Life Beyond Death. Uh, Janice, I know uh, you went, so after your experience, you went and interviewed scientists and, and uh, spiritual, spiritual advisors, I, I guess you could say. I wonder, did you ha- find yourself having to defend yourself or defend your lucidity or your sanity even uh, about uh, when you told people about the handprint and, and uh, the clock stopping, et cetera? No, I, I'm not really. I mean, I, I myself would consider myself to be a skeptic, and I, you know, I was trying to apply the critical thinking that I had throughout the course of my life to, to this as well. And when I would interview each person, I would ask, the questions pertinent to the research that they were doing, and I was really about learning. You know, I mm. I think if you look at if you look at um, science today, you know, most science scientists who are in what what you would call mainstream science believe that our reality is a hundred percent physically based. You know, they think it's just electrons and quarks, and that there is no more. And I, you know, that that even our consciousness reduces to these elements. In fact. They believe that no part of consciousness exists separately from the brain. But the, the scientists that I was interviewing were ones who I found out, each one led me to another, were studying uh, in a different way, were more in a, in a um, new approach to it or a more cutting-edge approach, parapsychology, which is mm. a, often you know outside of the realm of the normal science. But they believe in the idea of a universal consciousness. And they do not believe that when your brain ceases, you cease to exist. In fact, they believe that, you know, your, your thoughts and your consciousness goes on. So um, those are the scientists that I interviewed, and I, I think that they, it was really interesting, that one of them in particular, Dr. Dean Radin, when I went to see him, he's um, chief he's scientist. He's from What the Bleep. Next, no, he was yes, the that's bleep. right. Yeah. He's in What yeah. the Bleep. He's yeah, up yeah. there in Petaluma, and uh, chief scientist at the Noetic Institute. And I thought that what I was experiencing was so very unusual, but what he 
said to me is, no. He said, there are so many people that experience these kinds of things. They have near-death experiences or out-of-body or psychokinesis telepathy. It's just that people are afraid to talk about it, and they're afraid because they're afraid of being judged which is, in great part, why I came out with the book, because I really believe that it's important to open up this dialogue, and, and it doesn't mean that you don't still have a rational and sensible strategy for your life. I mean, I'm a very rational person. I apply critical thinking to most all the aspects of my life. However, these things happened, and for me to deny that they did right. would be to deny reality. So yep. I came forward so that other people can talk about it. Now, I love you have some, uh, you talked to this guy, Dr. Wendland, who is a physicist, and he, has, he had some really, really interesting things to say. This guy is about as materialistic a, sci a scientist as you could get. He was a, a Ph.D., I think, in, uh, in experimental physics. Is that right? From UCLA? That's right. And he and, taught at UCLA. And, yes. And he's a big believer. He was not a skeptic at all. No. In fact, he's told me he spent his entire life studying quantum physics, and so he said that, you know, he, he actually helped develop the sensors that were on the um, Voyager, you know, for the, for the lighting, for the navigation system for the Voyager, sold that company to 3M, and then he was able to do a lot of research on going, more, you know, further into this whole question of what is our consciousness, and he's the one that taught me a little bit about quantum physics. I don't pretend I'm not a scientist at all to understand it in its full complexity, but he did teach me the concept that the world is non-local, and things are actually connected across time and space. Tell us what you and mean by non. Tell us what you mean by that non-locality. Explain that. Well, if if you look at Newton, Isaac Newton for 350 years gave us pretty much our basic science tenets. But then, in the early 1900s, quantum physicists started coming out, like Werner Heisenberg, and there was the Copenhagen theory and the quantum bell theory. And basically they said, looking at the atom at the subatomic level, at the teeniest, tiniest particle, it actually behaved differently. Both mm. energy and matter behave differently than they did in the regular physical, like the, the normal physics. So what they, the two most important pieces, I think, are that it's non-local, meaning things can be crossing across time and space. If that's true, for me, it meant Max could have figured out a way to mm. come across from another realm. And then the other big tenet that they practice is that our consciousness can influence energy and matter. And that's where, you know, if you believe consciousness exists, exists outside of the brain, then if your body dies and your brain dies, it still goes on. Mm. Then it has the power to influence, meaning possibly Max was able to get that powder up there through his consciousness. And of course that would explain the zillions of experiences people have had over millennia, or at least over centuries, of, of communicating or somehow contacting beyond, uh, entities or consciousnesses uh, beyond death. I mean, we've had reports of this forever, pretty much, right? Yes, yes. And, th and that and would explain it. And we've always had the debunkers, all the skeptics have said it's not true. But it's so interesting in life because it's, we don't have proof that these things exist, but we have evidence that they do. We have the evidence because the people telling the stories are telling their stories, and that's the evidence. And while debunkers may think that they're being logical and coherent, as it turns out, there's no debunking evidence, right? There's no evidence that that's it's wrong. Right. And that's, that that's they right. miss that point. Yes. In fact, you know, Dr. Dean Red Radin said the most interesting thing. He said critical thinking is a double-edged sword. Right. It must be applied to any claim, including mm -hmm. the claims of the skeptics. Right. And the skeptics have, as it turns out, the skeptics have no evidence that it's not true. They have zero evidence. That's right. So, right? So the weight, the preponderance of evidence is that it is true. I, I think that's right. And, I, and people don't have a reason to make this up. You know, there's not... Many times it's grief, sadly, that will prompt it, because I think you're more, more open and vulnerable. In fact, another thing Dean Radin said to me that was probably one of the most important things I learned on this journey, he said, people often say, I'll believe it when I see it. He said, you'll, be, you'll see it. See it when, when you, you believe, believe it. Right. Yeah. Well, that begs the question. That well, that brings up an interesting question, though, Jane, in, uh, just in, in terms of, uh, you know, 
holding your feet to the fire if I might do that. How do you know that you didn't create this? How do you know that you didn't actually manifest this yourself and that your husband Max is not around but you actually manifested this through your desires or your wishes or your beliefs? Yes, I think it's a completely valid question. So I can't no, prove that. Right. I can't okay. prove that I didn't. I, I, in my heart, I don't believe it that I did only because I wouldn't know how. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that my, mm -hmm. um, my intent didn't play a role. If you look at Bruce Grayson's near-death experiences chapter, he talks about that, and he, that was the most um, emotional of all the interviews I had was with him because he said, is it possible that you're made of the same thing? If you think about love and that love is the source of whatever power it is that generates these activities, if, if that's true, it's possible if you're, if you're not inside your body and you're, you're, you know, some sort of consciousness, you coexist. So maybe Max and I together somehow mm, did this. And I played, if I hadn't been, you know, a playing an active role, he couldn't have accomplished it. That's beautiful. That's so. You, in, other, in other words, even though he's passed away, you're still connected. There's still a connection between the two, and you're still actually in contact, even though he's exactly. even he's out of the body. Okay, so we're out, pretty much out of time. But the most important thing out of all of this, whether it happened or whether it didn't happen, the most important thing is how did it affect your life? How did it change your life? And what do you want other people to know about the possibilities of life beyond death, of, of consciousness beyond death of the physical body? Well, I think the way it changed me is I. I live in the present far more now. I pay attention. Mm. And I'm not as distracted by the mundane activities of everyday life. I try harder with every single human interaction to really be in that moment and give the respect and dignity to that moment. And I think that I learned that the veil between this life and the afterlife is far more porous than we realize. And that, again, the, the, it's bridged by love. And I, I guess what I would say to others, if I could say anything, it would be, to your listeners, it would be to just stay open and to treasure the people in your life, the love that you have with them, and then mm. to, if you can, have the confidence that one day you know, we're all going to die. None of us think that we will, but we are. And the idea that, that we can have more peace about it, knowing that we go on in another form. Well said. Thank you so much, Janice Ify Durham. Beautiful, wonderful story. What's your website, real quick? Oh, thank you for asking. It's thehandonthemirror.org. Thehandonthemirror.org. Wonderful book. God bless you, Janice. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Good to talk to you. Thank you, Ben. Thanks so much. Take care. That was Janice Heafy Durham. Her book is The Hand on the Mirror, A True Story of Life Beyond Death. And uh, it's really, really cool story. Very easy to read and very life-changing as well. All right. Tomorrow we'll continue talking skin health. We'll, get, uh, we'll move on past vitamin A. We've been talking about vitamin A for a while now. We'll talk about some more nutrients that you could use for keeping your skin young and healthy and beautiful no matter what your skin health issue is. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back at you tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Have, a, have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you y'all later. Bye for now. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a Wall 
between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates, 1-800-425-4610. 